Hi, this is here with a review of the uh, the retro throwback Grand Hill Phila model. I would personally call it the GH2 or the Grand Hill 2 because this is the second uh, Grand Hill signature shoe after the first one, which looked um, rather forgettable. Uh, this, is, this is what he wore from the 95-96 season, which is his sophomore season in the NBA. Uh, Fila had uh, an amazing run with uh, Stars at Grand, Grand Hill. Uh, they had their golden era in the mid-90s to the uh, late 90s. Uh, it was as popular as Nike, uh, in some parts even more popular than Nike. I've, they've came up with so many designs uh, during the 90s that the present Fila company, which is owned by Korea, uh, can actually keep the company afloat and even keep the company reaching um, a higher level by reintroducing or reissuing the old designs, even the performance design from the 90s, uh, to a modern era with some takedown aspects like the special cushioning films or whatnot would have been removed. But it's really cheap, affordable. It's like 50 bucks shoes so that anyone can wear. And it's the authentic design from the 90s. And when they have a successful model, they reintroduce it with some other added elements that really um, jazz things up. Uh, just a few uh, 3M scotch here and there, uh, a little additional Fila logos embroidered there. It just makes the shoe look brand new and they're affordable and they continue to surprise and they plan to go back to the design from the 90s which they have uh, a bucket load, a container load of designs that they can reach back and pull out from and Fila will continue to do that. Unfortunately, they're not focused on performance, rather casual wear. Um, this, however, is a performance retro. Uh, this was released in uh, 2017 under the name GL96 uh, Tysley Kinetics. I don't know what kind of design firm or designer that is, but uh, it's it's got a nice little uh, funky uh, pattern on the sides. And the important thing is that it retains all the aspects the original 96 Grand Hill shoes had. Uh, the foam midsole is really soft and comfortable. I don't know what kind of... EVA foam they use, but Fila, even the modern reinterpretation reissues of the 90s uh, classic models that's for casual wear, which is selling for like 50 bucks, even they have really nice uh, uh, high dense, low density foam that's really soft to the touch that feels like Luna Lawn. And so this one has that and the added two way cushioning that Fila used to have in the performance wear. It is, it's kind of like a, I, Brooks Hydroflow, maybe it's like a, 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 I guess you could compare it to a Hexalite, something of a cross between Hexalite and the liquid cell that's being used by Puma these days. Yeah, it's a combination of some compound and uh, air and yeah, and some jelly like substance inside. So, yeah, it's good, it feels great. Um, the heel is elevated with an additional cushioning system, so it's got a good heel to toe drop on a forefoot. It is a little bit lacking in terms of cushioning, but definitely uh, the midsole cushion, you can feel it. The insole is paper thin, so if you exchange it with some sort of a performance insole, then you'll be able to enjoy a, a very much uh, better ride. This You can actually wear this for basketball. It is a good performance shoe. It only weighs about, uh, for size, 9.5, uh, less than uh, 440 grams, so that's pretty lightweight. The traction is awful. The, very basic. Um, you can wear this on clean courts or outdoors because it, the rubber is pretty thick so you can just you know wear them out. Uh, if you want to wear them in really sensitive uh, dust attracting floors you might want to like cut some ex additional grooves every now and then here and there to uh, provide some extra grip. That should help. That's what I do with some of my shoes with no patterns. It actually works. Uh, it's hard work though, uh, trying to shave that rubber off with some blades, uh, the blades that's used for sculpting that is. The fit is a bit of a problem because they have a bit of a toolbox space here. So if you have really th thick feet, that's uh, this is a welcome shoe for you. For average shoes like us, there's a bit of a space. But you can't go down half a size, you might actually want to go up half a size because this little stitching and this bit, it, it can feel a little bit cramped. It can feel uh, pr pressing against your toes, pinky toes a little bit, so you might feel a little bit squeezed inside. So yeah, once you lace it up though, it feels pretty roomy, but 
without lacing it up, if you're just letting your feet slide and roam free, it feels like the shoe might be a little short. But uh, half, half a size up for people with like ordinary feet. If you have really narrow feet, you can go true to size maybe. Uh, wide footers, a whole size up maybe. But again, toe box space, a problem. Uh, the angle support is, is good. Uh, there's no uh, any spe special gimmicks, but they do uh, lock down. The lace loops come all the way here, and I like the fact that they, uh, they, they slide down all the way to enable some more mobility around the Achilles and the heel area. The padding is very plush and nice all around. Uh, this little strap does nothing. <laughs> you think it provides some extra grip on the heel, but no, it, it doesn't work that way. It's kind of like just for show. Um, breathability, uh, it's not the most well-ventilated shoe, but it's not the most stuffy or suffocating uh, type of atmosphere inside. There's only one tiny uh, layer of leather and uh, a nail print inner booty, so it's not that stuffy inside. It's not that narrow, but it's not that wide in terms of the base. There is no visible outrigger. You're not going to suffer the LeBron 15-like uh, instability, but still, yeah, it's not exactly the most uh, a stable shoe you will find. But you will not have any problems uh, if you lace them up tightly. Uh, yeah, I, I, the cushioning is actually decent, uh, actually better than some of the crazy models out there that just try to go stingy with some cushioning uh, gimmicks of the heel and nothing on the forefoot. Uh, get some uh, plush PU insoles or some zoom insoles and this would be a good performance ride for you. This is on sale these days. It originally used to go for like uh, 200 bucks, but now it's selling for like less than 50.